but I was working at a grocery store during that time frame, bagging groceries. And I remember going to the store, bagging groceries, and then I was smiling, and the checker's like, you know, why are you so happy, Fred? I'm like, oh, well, I figured out what I'm gonna do the rest of my life. She's like, well, what's that? I said, I'm gonna be a geneticist. And she's like, huh, well, do you know what it takes to be a geneticist? And I'm like, nope. As an undergraduate student at Berkeley, I joined a Big Brother program, and he was um, um, an eight-year-old in third grade. And I didn't even know this about Fred. We would study for midterms together, and he would say, oh yeah, I need to go hang out with my little brother, and I thought it was his actual little brother. I used to spend time with him on the weekends as I was doing research in the lab. You know, now he's a grown man, he's 22 years old, and he's finishing up college at Goucher in Baltimore, Maryland. This is something very sincere, and it's been around for a very long time. Even before it could be articulated into the structure of a program, Fred was out there on weekends playing chess with some middle school student. And to me, that's Fred. That's why I work with Fred. It's, it's for, for those things that he does that nobody knows about, and he just does them. Fred's really a visionary. I think that he has a, a real skill for projecting out what yeah, what he wants to help people accomplish. The scientific empowerment movement we created two years ago, and the idea behind it was, how do you actually reach urban youth where they're at? He really wanted to reach all of those individuals who we know possibly have great potential, but just aren't even part of that stream in academia yet. So pH is just the measurement of how acid or basic something is. The idea was, can you merge science, medicine, and technology with the sports and entertainment industries and then expose the connections to the urban youth so they can unveil the science behind those industries? One example is the music industry. You have people who produce music that use science and technology to actually edit it and produce it. And you have all these other components that go into creating the music and then distributing the music and selling the music. And so there's a wide variety of careers that are available that students maybe don't know about that they would be interested in. So it's just a new way to think about what you can learn with a science background and how you can be trained to think and then apply that to all areas of life, which include the entertainment and sports industries. Building diversity in science is um, a mentoring program with a small group space format. We reach out largely to students from underrepresented and minority backgrounds and help them use their interest in science to empower themselves and then shape a career plan that will be helpful for their personal growth and help others. You know, getting to know these amazing people, especially Dr. Moore, um, has really made an impact in my life and has really kind of expanded my network and, you know, the people who I can turn to, to ask a question, you know, without being shy, without being scared, you know, you, the simplest question, or to ask for advice, you know, I could just go to him and say, you know what, Fred, I have a question, you know, what should I do? He's paired me up with a personal mentor, Joe Callahan, who I speak with quite often, and he's opened up doors for me um, with the people that he's brought into the program because he yeah, wants me to be successful and he wants me to network, and kind of giving me that uh, emotional support is priceless. To sell successfully is Being able to mentor others and provide them with insights that you have learned um, is one of the best ways to, to give back to help other people you know behind you reach the same heights as you. You know dream big and then we can help you figure out the process of how to get there and provide you with some tools for along the way you can then you know manifest what you what you dream about.